luxury open houses for the public? Perhaps that's common in your market, perhaps that's not common in your market. In this video, I wanna share with you, if you represent a seller and there's a trophy listing, you have an amazing property that typically won't have a general public open house, but maybe a broker open, but won't have a public open house, why you should consider having an open house to the public. You'll see a picture come across the screen right now of an amazing property that we represent. It's over 9,000 square feet, has an indoor sport court, and it's been on the market. I'm the second agent. It's been on the market for almost three years, and we've had some activity, but we haven't had any quality showings in months. We haven't had any showings in months, and so I propose to the seller just this, what I'm about to share with you now. It was a phone call, ring, ring. I said to the seller, listen, I wanna share with you something that is a little unconventional, it's outside the box, but due to the fact that we haven't had much interest, it's something to keep in mind. So I said to the seller, what are your thoughts on having an open house on a Saturday or Sunday? I'll have myself there along with several other team members for safety and security to make sure we can tour people through. We're gonna get tire kickers, we're gonna get, 80% of people are not qualified to buy a $2.25 million home. But what if we pull in a qualified buyer? What if due to the fact that none, none of the neighbor, neighboring towns are having open houses above one five, let alone above $2 million, we might pull that city buyer from the city of Chicago or somebody looking in Hinsdale, Illinois that says, you know what? Let's go through Wheaton, Illinois. We, we don't know a whole lot about this house in Wheaton, Illinois, but it sounds like a cool house. Let's go take a look. And guess what? We did that at the time of this filming. We did that several weeks ago, and we had 10 to 11 qualified people. When I say qualified, they were looking to buy a home uh, in the next three months or less. Now, I don't know if they were qualified to buy 2.25, we actually had more people than 11 through there, but I would say 10 to 11 that based on them signing in, based on our discussions, they were looking to buy in the next three months. Now out of those 10 to 11, we did have three qualify that were looking up to two and a half to $3 million. And guess what? We had two second showings where they provided proof of funds and we showed them a private showing, one with an agent, one without an agent, that transpired after the open house. So literally didn't have two showings in the last four or five months. And we had two second showings because of the open house. It's outside the box, it's unconventional. I tell the, told the sellers that they gotta put valuables away. Here are the pros of having an open house. Here are the cons. The cons far were much less than the pros of having an open house. And we had two second showings because of it. I hope this is helpful to you. The other benefit of having an open house in that price point is on those third party websites like realtor.com and Redfin and Zillow. You're gonna get better premier placement when you do an open house, a general open house. You're gonna get more clicks and more views with their algorithms than the house down the street that isn't hosting an open house. I hope, I hope this is helpful to you. Leave a comment if you're getting value. Leave a, uh, shoot me an email, my contact information is below. My name is Michael Lafito. Think outside the box, think unconventional during turbulent markets, during ups and downs, or if you have a stale listing. And we look forward to uh, answering any questions that you have. And check us out on luxuryfridays.com. Take care.